Good afternoon. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Aren't you lucky? Let's see if I can just get rid of this camera shake. How are we all? Are we all good? Is there anybody home? Is there anybody here? Oh, there I am. I'm just trying to find it up on my screen. Oh, there's a few of you watching. Hey, Donna. Hey, Karen. How are we all? Oh, God, I can hear myself. Hang on. Let's hit the mute button on that. Okay. Last class of the day at the moment. Okay. So today is the first day of the Great Australian, Great International Craft Show. Um... And today we have got Tim Holtz products on special and 15% off, or Tim Holtz, 15% off chipboard. And uh, yeah, today only. So I thought I would do a little bit of junk journaling today. So junk journaling, of course, is I'm going to use my Scrap Effects junk journal and have a bit of a, have a, bit of a play in that. So let me tell you about the junk journal. This is my Scrap Effects junk journal. And it is getting all these silly notifications. There we go. Um, so my Scrap Effects junk journal is this one here. So this is a page that I started previously on uh, another live Facebook some time ago. And this is a Scrap Effects limited edition journal. And um, I've done a few pages in it so far. So a junk journal is awesome. This is lots of different surfaces to work on. Here's a little flick through as I go through. Um, I've got finished pages. I've got pages where I've cleaned off stencils and my gel plate, for example. Um, when I was having a bit of a play with the brand new shimmer paints that arrived from... Dilutions um, and how they look on uh, black, so that's really cool. Um, this journal has heavy denim in it, which is very cool. Um, I don't know, cleaning off my palette there. But what I love about these journals is they've got these clever little cutouts. So to give you a bit of an idea, if I put something behind it, that's probably not the best thing, but you get the jewel. Um, this one's got a paper bag in it. It's got some book paper, a uh, bit of a tag going on here. A couple of other pages I've done. This one's using gloss sprays and the Scrap Effects goodies. Um, this is the one that I did last live show, which was going a bit bad, but then I pulled it back and saved it. And the cutout page with the um, transparency so they're really really cool very versatile easy to use um, so today I'm going to I'm going to use these two pages here so when I create in my junk journal I take everything else out of the picture because I haven't put it together yet um, and I'm going to be using today the um, distress oxides to create my background i've got some images that i have stamped from paper artsy um, and i'll show you those in a minute uh, but i want to get cracking on using distress oxides in my background so give you a bit of an idea this paper that i'm using here is a it's like a heavy drawing paper perhaps it's a little bit texturous, textural. <laughs> um, and this is a book out of Hide and Seek, it is called. So it's a little bit, um, it's quite a heavy book paper and it tears beautifully. But what I would like to do is, is I've used clear gesso to cover them to give it a, an even surface. Um, so clear gesso is going to prep my paper. And I wanted to use clear because I wanted this book paper to shine through. I'm also going to add another piece of book paper and I'm going to show you how I've um, prepared that page. So I'm just going to tear down 
because I want to do a double page in my junk journal and I want to go something like that. So I'm just going to grab some gel medium and a palette knife to stick down this book paper and I'm going to add a little addition to this page. So of course gel medium, let's go with that, it's probably a bit much. So I want some white showing but I want some, uh, this book paper needs to be there just for a little bit of visual balance. So I still can't, I still need to create with a um, with a scrapbooker's eye and do something that's visually pleasing. I am definitely one of those creatives that needs to do that. So I'm going to trim this off and build on this art journal page. So how's everybody's day going? I see half of New Zealanders seem to tune in today. I've got Cherie, I've got Dee, I've got Sharon. Who else is here from New Zealand? What's happening girls? All right, so there's my page. Now what I want to do is I want to use the clear gesso to seal that. Because paper is porous, um, whatever I put on top of it is going to soak in. So I'm going to use clear gesso to completely seal this. Now I've got clear gesso online. I think the brand that I have online at the moment, there's only three brands that I like to use, 13 Arts, Prima and the Dina Wakely one. The Dina Wakely one, I've ha I have trouble getting hold of that at the moment. Um, it's out of stock, but the, and the 13 Arts one I've sold out of and I have to do another order from Poland. So this is the, the Prima one is the next best one. I don't love the Liquitex one because the Liquitex clear gesso is really gritty. Um, and that is because it is designed for watercolorists. Um, these big scissors that I'm using, Faye's just asked the question, what scissors am I using? These big guys here are the Sh Tim Holtz shears. So there's a few different sorts of scissors on the website. There's the haberdashery scissors, the Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors, are the ones that are non-serrated. And there's a five inch and a six inch. And then there's the Tim Holtz shears, which are these ones. And these are the normal Tim Holtz ones and they come in left-handed and right-handed. Hopefully that answered your question, Faye. Oh, hello, Robin. How are you, my love? All right. So that has dried that off. Now I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper to slide into that gap. Won't be a sec, it wasn't organized. Actually, I'll grab a, a, a paint palette just because it's hard to visualize here what's happening and I need to make sure that I can pop my page on and I've got some overlap. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to use some of the Distress Oxides to create my background. Um, I wanted to add a little colour. I wanted to add some... What's going on with all this stuff? I wanted to add something with the Distress Oxides. Um... I thought that I would try using them and stamping with them as a wet as a wet medium. So what I've got here is a piece of acetate, a bit of packaging, plastic bag sort of. It's super thin. It's really, really thin. I use it when I do um, shaker cards. Let's get all that out the way. And I'm going to stamp my background with it. So what colors am I going to use? Um, 
I might go for, let's have a look here. No. Oh, here we go. All right. I like a little tumble glass. I like a little squeeze lemonade. I like a little peacock feathers. I like a little lagoon, blue uh, mermaid lagoon. A little cracks pistachio. Let's let's go with that. And I'm going to start building up some background. Um, I always start with my lightest colour. So I'm going to go with the yellow and I'm going to go straight onto my mat. Straight onto my piece of acetate, sorry. And then I'm going to give it a spray. And I'm just going to then smoosh it around onto my background. Now, because it's going onto the gesso, it's going onto a surface that is a little bit slick. It's not soaking it in, which is perfect. We want it to sit on the top. Um, I haven't done this in ages, guys, so if it goes bad, don't be surprised. But you know how I am, full transparency. Tell it how it is. So this is a little tumbled glass. little water to activate it and there we go. sorry about that my phone's ringing okay um that'll have to wait um phone call gotta love that midlife facebook far out all right so you can see what's happening i'm starting to build up this little layer in the background so big swish there of cracked pistachio so I'm adding in some green and I'm just stamping it and touching it and, so, and it's transferring and it's going blotchy and that is what I'm after. And even if I do it without the water and it gives it a little bit more intensity in certain areas, like that. And my paper towel, I'm just wiping my um, piece of plastic there. So I'm sticking with cool colours here. I'm sticking with colours that are not going to muddy up and that are going to look really okay when we add them to add them together. We're not going to make brown. Um, but what I want to do before I add anything else is I want to just lightly heat set it dry off some of that colour before I add another layer. Haven't totally dried it, but it's dried enough for my liking. Now, this just needs a little bit more of this tumbled glass blue. So I'm just gonna go ink pad, straight to ink pad, and straight on and what's happening is it's just adding a little bit more of balance with this light blue it's a bit stampy it's kind of cool all right what have we got next a bit of mermaid lagoon let's go with that Of course, it's dinner time in New Zealand. Sharon's just commented, sorry, Nat, running late, just had tea. Well, yes, it's, um, what time are we here? It's now quarter to five in the afternoon here. And we're getting to that time of the night. All right, there we go. So you can see the color starting to layer up. And this is what I love about oxides is the colors are layering up nicely. So activate it with a little water and it's got a really soft, a real softness to it. And a real random, a real uniqueness to it as well. There we go and we are layering. 
but it's certainly something that we don't normally do. We don't normally create our backgrounds like this. Um, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to build up some colour. Like this. Now, I need a bit more. I've got a big blue here, big blue here. I want to get a little bit more blue. Um, down the bottom here. Hey, there we go. Coming together. Slightly heat setting it just to make sure that it's going to dry and not go anywhere. All right. So, yeah, we've had a crazy busy day in here. It's been a day of ups and downs. We didn't know if we were going to have internet this afternoon. That wasn't going to plan. We have been busy packing your orders and I've been busy making things. I absolutely love the last live Facebook that I did. That page came up looking so good. Um, I'd forgotten how much fun it was to use distress inks in uh, and oxides on layouts. Um, something that I just haven't been doing enough. All right, so this is a little bit of peacock feathers and I'm just spreading that around my page and I'm going to make sure that I do leave some white space as well. I'm not looking at covering my whole page. But I'm pretty happy with how that is looking. I see that some of you have been taking advantage of the no judgment postage, placing a couple of orders throughout the day. And that's fantastic. That's exactly what we want you to do. So just remember the no judgment postage special, which means that you pay postage on your very first order, but all of the rest of the orders, you just select no judgment at the checkout and we will collate them all together. So I'll go over that again in the morning. There's going to be another live Facebook tomorrow morning to talk about the awesome special of the day. And you're going to love it. All right, I'm going to bring that up to camera to show you how good it looks because it's bloody amazing. That's a bit hot too. All right, so you can see that that looks really cool. I'm just gonna turn the light up a little. Down, there we go. Okay, so it needs a little depth and the depth is gonna come from maybe, maybe blueprint sketch. Yes, since that's the color that I've got out, I'm gonna add a little bit of depth with that and a, and a blending tool. Maybe a blending tool, maybe. Just on the corners, just in a few little spots, a little bit of this, that works. But let's try doing it. Let's add some like this then. Oh, 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 I've had an idea. Scrap that. Sorry. You know when your brain just goes click, 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 click and it all comes together? Yep, then. All right, let's do this. Let's grab my new stencil. Let's go for, oh, what have we got here? Hang on. Let's go for my Get Squared stencil and let's use this as a stamp. All right, so swishing my ink pad over the top. Just off camera, I'm just gonna give it a light spray. Four pumps, that's not really a light spray, is it? Who am I kidding? But it's wet and now I'm gonna stamp with it. Ah, 
yes okay oh I've forgotten about that <laughs> yes 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 every now and again I get so excited sorry about the weird noises like a freaking teenager that's that whole cracking myself up thing Louise has gone home for the day so she's not even sitting here laughing at me I've sent her home bless her she's learning for a non crafter she's nailing it She's getting the, she almost knows the difference now between distress inks and distress oxides. So that cracks me up. Um, but no, she's, she's no longer calling dyes and stencils the same thing. I'm getting those mixed up. So, so very funny. Um, okay. So here we go. We have, you see that? See what stamping with it does? Very cool. I've made a huge mess, but, but it's a controlled mess, see, semi-controlled mess, right. So next, next I want to think about, so I've created my background. So when I'm art journaling, I always art journal in steps, right? So um, I'm, I've created my background, which is the, the color. Um, I want to now add some stamping and I would like to add, and then I'll add some focal. And I had stamping, stenciling, and then focal point. So I might just take, I'm gonna keep that handy, but I also want to grab um, my stamps. Where's my new stash of stamps? Oh, here we go. So I've got some paper artsy ones here. Uh, what do I want to use? I might crack that one out again since I love that. I like that one. Um, okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Sorry that you have to watch my brain work at the same time, but you know, lucky you. I want to add, I've got these pre-stamped images that I've done. So these, this is stamped onto deli paper. And this is, these are the stamps from um, Lynn Perella. And holy moly, you guys need to look this woman up. She is mind blowing artist. I love all of these collage elements. So I have pre-stamped this image here and this image here, but these are just the ones that I've got um, and I, I absolutely love them. They are the best. And I'm also gonna use this little jar. So I really wanna create a shelf for my images to sit on. So in doing that, I've pulled out these ones here and I'm gonna use Maybe this guy and this guy. So this is from um, Seth Apter. And these are the new Paper Artsy ones. Um, actually, it might just be enough. It might just be enough, okay. So let's get some color on first, actually. So I want to add a little bit of this and a little bit of this. And I need the black as well, but I haven't got that handy. So this is the Get Squared stencil. Um, this stencil 
and the paper artsy products that I'm using will not be on special at all over these next four days. So if you are holding out for something, it's not gonna happen, okay? Just gonna be full, fully transparent on that. The Natalie May stencils and stamps are not gonna be on special, nor are the Paper Artsy products, okay? Because they are so new, and I already give you the best possible price that I can on those items. I'm just gonna grab the black out of the cupboard. Sorry, got that coming, here we go. I wanna add a little black soot just because I need to. Um, clean brush. Yep. Keeping that on the top there. I'm just gonna darken that up just to give it... Oh, that's better. What did I do? I went there. No, I didn't. I did that. Let's line that up. So as per normal, black and white give dimension. So that's why I've opted to pop in a little bit of black with that stenciling. All right. So that's all coming together okay. And now I'm going to add some stamping around the edges using black as well. Now normally I would use black archival ink, um, but because I've started off with the black in this, what is this? Oxide. I'll continue with that. Now that's just gone a little bit too much for my liking. And because it's still wet, I can do that. Tone it back a little. and I'm using it without a stamp block just because it doesn't need it. I want a an organic, organic, God, I hate that word. Um, I'm giving it a more fluid sort of look and then just edging it a little in the black as well, just to give it a smudge. And a bit down the bottom there. All right. So are you guys ready for a couple more days of creating? Tomorrow's specials. I cannot wait to create with what I'm doing for tomorrow's specials. You're going to love it. Right, a bit smudgy at the top there, but you can kind of see where I was going with that. Um, hey, how bad can it go at this stage, right? Yeah, I love a little element on the top. There we go. Right, put it aside, Natalie, move on. The images that I've got here while that's drying I'm going to cut some of these images out so I want to use so I've, I've stamped these on with black archival ink on deli paper so this is the deli paper this is the good oops might be using that one the good American deli paper that I bring in the via um, one of my lovely ladies from stencil girl one of the um, designers from stencil girl sends it over to me so this is the good stuff and that is what I love about it this is not tissue paper it is not wax paper like that we use here in Australia it is deli paper it is totally different it's not available at Costco it's not available at your local supermarket it is the real deal and I love it it is really different to use um it's super cheap like 10 sheets for two bucks it's it's excellent but it's perfect for gel 
printing and it's really good for collage elements as well um, which is what I've done here so I'm just going to glue these little babies on in a minute but I ran out of time to cut them out beforehand um, I could tear it but I just want them cut out and I don't want to add any color to them I want to keep them nice and simple so chat amongst yourselves I would play some music but Facebook would block me if I did that so it's kind of like singing you'd all block me if I did that add some color to these so with the um, a couple of other mediums that you could use that are also available and on special are the distress collage medium which works fabulously with distress oxides I don't have any open at the moment but I've got the grit paste as well which works really cool uh, and that's an opaque one and a translucent one. So they're also very awesome. And then Distressed Crackle Texture Paste. And there's the Collage Matte Medium. So they are some of the other cool Tim Holtzy products that are available um, on special. Today only at whatever awesome price. I think I just want one big bottle. I might extend my little bottles. Um, at what do I say? 15% off, aren't they? So that's very cool. Um, a very, very awesome. And now I'm just going to cut around these cause I have to do it in an odd number. Cause that's how we roll. Right. Down there, down there, around there. Sorry guys, this is the boring bit. It's watching me cut out. And there's the bit that I ripped. Right. So what I was kind of thinking is that I wanted to collage across my page like this and have a little shelf thing going on perhaps with a big bottle in the middle, maybe. But then I've got these little bottles as well. Too many bottles, too many bottles. Um, let's get some words on here first. So this stamp says story. So because I'm being so indecisive, what do we do when we are indecisive? Just commit to it. Big, big stamp block. I have to put that on an angle. And like I said, you guys all know how I create. I don't have a plan. I am the all or nothing. Let's just jump in and do it sort of person and hope that it bloody works, right? That is my thing. I am a non-planner. I'm a just commit to a person. Life's too short to fluff around with the little details. So I'm really, really inking this up in the black, just, um, black archival ink because I want it nice and sharp. Yeah. I know that my page is going to sit something like that. So I might just do a little bit more down the bottom <laughs> and up here. Like that. 
So that's a pretty cool stamp. I do like that. So that one is from one of the Seth Aptor sets. All right, we're getting there. So how am I gonna make these stand out? What am I gonna do? What are we thinking? I'm thinking. I'm thinking, so that goes there like that. All right, I'm doing it again. Oh no, I'm stuffing around. I think it needs a bit of white gesso, a bit of white paint underneath, just to help those stand up. So how do I do that? I have got some Liquitex gesso here. I'm gonna pop a little on the table or a lot on the table as the case may be. And I know that it's gonna go there, right? So I kinda wanna go like this. Give it like a, a bit of a wash. It's not totally white but it's going to help my collage elements stand out better and giving it a bit of a base. To sit on top of, okay? So you could do that with white paint, but I had white gesso next to me, so that works for me. I'm not covering anything up. I'm just going to be enhancing. Before I stick my hand in that and I need to dry that off and then I'm going to stick down my elements and finish it off I think that will work just fine so I could have actually stamped those onto um, white cardstock and then cut them out that would have worked fine and then I would color them in um, I do have some colored pencils I might actually use some colored pencils to color those in that might be an option they could stay I mean they'll look fine as, as black and white elements um, but I kind of like it as oh that's better I kind of like it as an element like um, like this now when I'm sticking these down because I have worked with gel medium Oh, sorry, I've worked with Distress Oxides. Gel Medium may reactivate it. So I'm going to use the Gel Medium on the back of my deli paper. God, I've got crap everywhere. Hang on. Um, I've got, I'm going to use it on the back rather than putting it onto here like I would normally do, just so that my colours stay nice and solid. I could use Distress Medium and that will stick it all down just fine, but I didn't want to open up a new one. So if you don't have it, this will work just as well. And I'm sure you won't make it look as clumsy. There we go. And that one goes there. So of course the gel medium that I use is the Chrome Acryl gel medium it is my favorite impasto gel medium you all know how much i love it and bang on about it it is my favorite go-to and it has been for years for the million of million of one years that i've been crafting it has been the my my favorite okay 
What did I do with my big bottle? Here we go. And this one. It's going to go there. Paint, paint, paint. Nice big wide brush. All right, so now I've created my focal point. That is my oh, element that my page is all now going. The rest of everything else is going to be focused on. I've built my background. I, I started with my background and built my background, which is all the colour in, the, in there. Then I've added my stamping and my stenciling in here as well. I'm just going to quickly dry these off. Whoops. And then I'm going to go and get my coloured pencils and I'm gonna add some color to it, all right? Colored pencils are gonna work just fine. Um, I don't really wanna add any wet element to the to the paper here because deli paper is quite um, delicate, delicate little flower that it is. Um, but I think that it'll work just fine if I use colored pencils. So I'll just grab those. I've got a set of Prismacolors that I bought at Officeworks. Um, lots of places sell them. They are a lovely pencil to use and they are a lovely soft, artist grade pencil. Um, so what I want to do with my colouring, and I'm going to be super quick with it so that you don't have to sit and watch me colour in because that's boring as heck, um, is I want to use colours that are opposite. So I want to make sure that my elements are, oh that's still wet, I'll start on this side. Um, I want to make sure that my elements that I am colouring are going to pop. I don't want them to blend in. So I'm not adding a, tr a heap of colour. I'm just adding a tiny amount of shading. Uh, I'm not using very much at all. But I'll give some of these elements just a little pop. red jackets and I'm not pushing down very much because I don't want to damage the very delicate paper but you could use any colored pencils for this it'll work just fine no worries at all and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to the um, to the butterflies in a, in a jiffy. But just enough of a pop to, to make it go, yep, you're standing out a bit better. Has anyone got any questions about what I'm doing? Is anyone still tuned in? Has anyone gone off and, you know, got bored and lost interest and gone home? Fair enough. I'll pay that. Oh, I need to dry that. Nearly done. Yeah, just giving that a nice little pop. Oh, bonus bit of string. Um, so 
So Prismacolor pencils are a soft pencil and they go beautifully over paints. So for example, the Paper Artsy paints, they go over those just divine. I've done a couple of classes with Tracy Scott and um, she highly recommends using them. Oh, I haven't stuck that down all the way to the edge. All right, so you get the picture. Couldn't leave that alone, sorry. I'll come back to that later. All right. So a little bit of a pop of colour. Forgot that butterfly there. Pink labels. And next thing I'm gonna do is I need to give, I need to create a line or something for all of this to sit on. And although it is currently sitting on the stamping, I think it'll be better if it's sitting on Sorry, I'm just trying to find a pencil sharpener. If it's sitting on um, like a shelf, I think it would be finished off much better. So I'm just badly sharpening my pencil. And I want to... Now, keep in mind, this is my junk journal, so the pages will eventually be joined together. And I can create a shelf in lots of different ways. So I can come back to that stamp that I used earlier. And layer up. I can take, I can add my journaling across there, but I'm getting close to being super happy with this. Some acemic writing, which is doesn't say anything, but it's kind of um, says everything. <laughs> or if you've got a stamp, a scribbly stamp, that would also work quite well for this purpose, all right? So you can kind of see how I'm going here. We're almost finished. Um, Lynn, why, Lynn's asked the question, why am I using this heat gun and not a more powerful one? Um, Lynn, this is actually a powerful one. It is a tiny little, it pumps out more heat uh, and it's one of the Ranger ones. And it's the reason I like to use, I use it on camera because it's super quiet. So that's the main reason why. Um, all right, let's bring this up and have a bit of a look. So you can see those tiny little pops of colour, a little bit of that scribbly, um, acemic writing that I've done down there. Um, I need to do something about this area here. That bugs me. Um, but, you know, something a little bit different. Not my normal sort of painty painty which is fine it's not always about the painty painty it's about what you know what works um i've got some of these dina wakeley words i might go with there is no beauty without strangeness because yeah you know it sounds about accurate at the moment So these are the Dina Wakeley collage words from, I think, yeah, the words pack. Um, and 
and where am I going to pop it? I feel like I need to mount those on, um, I am, I'm going to mount those on some white cardstock and then stick them on. I think that'll work better. Um, so to do that, I'm going to be lazy and use some big, big boy tape here and go bam. Except for that bonus bit of stuff I picked up off the mat. Um, and then I will peel the back off. I need a piece of scrap white paper. What are the chances of finding that? Come on. There we go. I know, I'll use the back of that because it's handy and that's what I have got in front of me. Because it's my art journal and I'm gonna go with what works, yeah? Just stick another bit of tape on the back of that, hey? Nah, yes. Nah, because that's, oh, sorry. Because that's going to be slick, isn't it? So I better go one, two, cut that off. All right, so until I go to bed tonight, there is going to be 15% off Tim Holtz products, Distress Oxides, Distress Inks, Tools, dis, uh, Papers. Um, what else is there? There's accessories, there's tins, there's a canvas bag left. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, have a look at the very first video from today. Um, there is plenty of very, very cool Tim Holtz things available. Uh, there are chipboard elements as well, which are currently 15% off as well. There will be a new special tomorrow, meaning there will be, um, no Tim Holtz on special tomorrow but there's going to be something equally as awesome. If you have already done an order, and you would like to add to it, don't forget that you can select no judgment postage. So you pay postage the first time, and then the second time you do an order, or the third time, or the twelfth time you do an order, um, you just select no judgment. And what that means is that for one cent, we put all of your orders together, and you only pay postage one time okay and we post them all to you monday or tuesday or whatever day life happens next week all right so there's my page but yes you are definitely going to want to know about tomorrow's special um because it is another killer special it is very very good um just had an idea why it's to below pencil um yeah, so there's lots and lots of really cool things happening tomorrow as well, including another four live Facebooks. You're going to get another one in the morning telling you about the special of the day. Plus, there's going to be uh, another... Tomorrow's a little bit more arty. Um, we are going to be doing so another live Facebook at 10.30, 1.30 and 4.30. So... Very, very cool. So I'm off to have a glass of wine with my husband who has just got home from work. Um, and 
hopefully, yes, catch up on the day with him. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions, flick me a message. I will do the best to answer um, in a timely fashion or I might be just having having a wine or a gin or or whatever he's pouring me if he's listening. So um, you can kind of see what my thoughts are here. I'm just going to make my bottle stand out a little bit more. And I wonder if... Tape brush. I wonder if I added a little... Because I just used a... I just used a white Stabilo pencil. Yeah, see if I just activate that just a little... It gets a little bit more intense on there. But I'll take a photo like I did earlier today with the other two Facebooks. Take a photo, post a photo on the Facebook page with links to the products for you to see. And that's it. So jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Um, and I look forward to chatting to you all tomorrow. Thanks, guys.